Hi, I'm Dave Huey, lead pastor at Geyer Springs Baptist here in Little Rock. As a pastor in Arkansas, I'm thankful to reside in the second most pro-life state in the nation, but I'm not willing to rest in that position. I've stood in this very place, 31 of the 32 Januarys I've lived in Arkansas. As long as God gives me strength, I'll continue to show up for the annual March for Life. But to be honest, I can't help but wonder if we are truly making progress. This past legislative session saw 11 pro-life bills passed. All of these bills place further regulations on abortion. But history has shown us that regulation has little to no effect on ending abortion. Over the past two years, I've had some encounters that have challenged me to rethink my position and have brought me to a paradigm shift. While I've been thankful for legislators in our state who recognize something must be done about abortion, I have come to realize that regulation cannot be our ultimate goal. Regulation will not get us to the goal line. The time has come for us to demand that abortion be abolished in our state. Whether you realize it or not, abolishing abortion in Arkansas is doable. In Acts 5.29, after coming into conflict with the Sanhedrin, Israel's governing body, Peter says, we must obey God, not men. Yes, we are under the authority of government established by God, but when the laws of man come into conflict with God's law, we must obey God. Clearly, abortion violates God's law. Every follower of Christ, every evangelical congregation, every pastor must stand on God's word and do what scripture commands. God's word is clear that all life is valuable from the moment of conception and that God expects us to protect all life. Abortion is not a political or social issue. It is a biblical issue, a moral issue. With that in mind, we are compelled to demand the total and immediate abolition of abortion in our beloved state. Can I challenge you as a pastor, as a church leader, as a Christ follower to commit to obey God's law and to defend the unborn, to rescue those being carried off to death? Let me ask you to prayerfully consider what you should do. Take a moment and visit the website abolishabortionar.com. There you can learn more about the movement to completely abolish abortion in Arkansas, and you can sign the petition and commit to protecting all of our precious preborn children. Join me and other godly leaders as we seek to abolish abortion in Arkansas.